Hi, Katerina. It's so nice to see you. Hi. I love you in green and uh, I wish I could hug you. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to hug you too, of course. So, uh, greetings to you from Kherpen, Germany. Uh, are you still in Kharkov, Ukraine? Yes, I send all our subscribers and viewers uh, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. Uh, can you please hug Kharkov from me? <laughs> oh, okay, I will do that. I know that Alisa is on her way to Kharkov too. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So I believe it will be interesting to our subscribers to hear that. Mm -hmm. Let's jump into our topic. Uh, I know that we wanted to discuss uh, with you some basic dating tips that our current clients, our potential clients can implement into their dating life. Um, like, but like always, let's start uh, from the mistakes. Um, we have already started resumes working and uh, we've got some new clients We're working with current clients. We have been approached, reached by potential clients. Can you name uh, like the most popular mistakes um, that you have seen within the last several weeks? Uh, I can say, you know, uh, the first mistake that is coming into my mind will be very connected exactly with a tip uh, that we can give to people who are thinking international dating and who wants to meet someone someone internationally uh, i have heard several days ago from one foreign guy uh, that uh, he wants to meet a ukrainian lady uh, that uh, he wants to save her uh, the lady who lost everything uh, in ukraine for example she has children and her husband has died in this war and he wants to be like a brave man who is saving her and to be a hero for her and you know this is will be one of uh, very important um, team that we can give uh, to people that you have beforehand why you want to meet someone from another country, another culture, and to do it for the right reasons. Uh, don't try to save someone who is desperate because the uh, situation is difficult. Uh, and uh, for example, in Ukraine, we have war now. Uh, so choosing a such type of dating for such reasons, it's a wrong uh, strategy. So you have to do it for the right reasons and to think before you, beforehand for yourself why you're doing it. It's very important. Yes, I always tell that uh, you shouldn't mix uh, charity, uh, you shouldn't uh, miss, mix adoption with actually dating. Because if you want to do charity, and by the way, Katerina doesn't know it, but we have donated for another charity case, Diola.com. We are helping to buy special equipment uh, for a soldier, a Kharkiv soldier. Um, and uh, several of our clients also have decided to participate in it. So if you want to help someone, uh, you should definitely do it. And right now there are so many ways uh, to help so many people are always like not even during the war. Uh, there are many groups of people who need our help and uh, people can choose how to do it. But you shouldn't start your personal life with charity. Yes, it's a very good desire to help someone, uh, especially nowadays, it's true that uh, a lot of people need help. But if you want to meet a lady because you want to save her, uh, as she, for example, she lost her husband, she has children, and that's why you want to help her. When I read that email, uh, I was, you know, I, I had not a very pleasant feeling because it's the wrong way to start your way uh, to happiness, to family, to building relationship. You have to have another, uh, you should have another goal and you have to do it with another intentions, of course. You can become a hero for a very special lady uh, by supporting a charity and she can appreciate it that you are helping others. Uh, she can actually fall for you because you have this uh, very kind heart. But um, wanting to become a charity case or wanting, to charity, wanting a charity case as your best half, it's never a good idea. And I can give you a very similar example. Uh, I was answering comments below our videos and there has been many comments. So I'm really sorry if uh, I was not able to answer your comment at once uh, because like the, the channel is big and we have almost 500 videos and people still watch the old videos. So I try to 
pay attention to all comments and all questions. They are all important to us. And several gentlemen have written that, uh, uh, you know what, now there have to be ladies uh, like uh, women in their 30s and 20s who will be open to date men in their 50s and 60s. And I'm ready to date such a woman. Well, good for you. Mm -hmm. That was the second thing that I say, that uh, people start to think, men start to think that ladies will change their attitude to age. Why, why uh, the situation, the current situation had to change their opinion about uh, age difference, but they really hope that ladies will change uh, their desire to meet someone with bigger, bigger age difference. One gentleman went so far as actually writing that your age caps that you suggest are ridiculous. And he has comment on our YouTube and actually he has written me a very nasty message on LinkedIn and LinkedIn has blocked that message, warning me that content is not pleasant and uh, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, you know what, uh, when we like preach about uh, the age gaps that uh, Ukrainian women find appropriate, we do it not because we hate couples with age difference or because we don't want to help or a man who wants to date younger. When we take a client, we have to make sure that we can mm -hmm. actually introduce him to a lady he wants. And if we don't know ladies who want to date like 20, 30 years older than they are, it's not because uh, we are not nice people it's because we are not magicians we can't create such a woman yes that's true and even yesterday i got a similar email that the guy asked uh, if we can introduce with a bigger age difference uh, i described to him again our policy uh, our attitude to this and he answered that okay i will wait a little more so they think that at the exact moment just didn't uh, come yet and uh, if they wait a little longer then it will be realistic Mm -hmm. And when he will turn like 62, then for sure there will be a lady in her 20s who would be willing to date him. When he was uh, 55, uh, of course, such ladies didn't exist. By, by, by 62, they have magically, they have reached 18. Yes, it's... Uh something that we are always repeating in our videos in our podcasts we talked about it before that your expectations have to be realistic it's very important it's one of the main tips uh, when you're thinking about international uh, dating you have to build realistic expectations regarding uh, the lady that you want to meet it's very important because if you paint in your imagination some portrait but in reality you have never dated with such a lady you have never been even on one date with such a person but you think that you will go to another country and there will be plenty of such ladies that will be uh, happy to meet you then it will not happen and you have to be realistic with yourself first of all, and then to build realistic expectations regarding it i have seen a man on facebook um, about uh, this uh... Uh, rappers or how they are called like the singers uh, who are skinny covered with tattoos and uh, they look kind of homeless uh, but they are rich famous people and it was written that if these guys have managed to get uh, the transformer chick and the kardashians then for sure you can get a girlfriend and uh, there were many likes and i was like what it's just maybe it's easier for some men to think like that. Maybe uh, it helps them to build some, I don't know, self-esteem. I don't know what, why they are thinking like that, because they lie to themselves. Uh, they just um, continue to have those dreams that will never become a reality. So you're just losing your time on thinking that it is possible uh, while you could meet a really nice lady and start to build a real relationship, not in your imagination, not online. Uh, but real relationship. I was interviewing a very beautiful lady for our database and she speaks several languages and uh, she works uh, in Dior and uh, she was sharing stories about couples that uh, went there to do some shopping and she has shared some funny stories about uh, men in their 50s and 60s who went there um, with uh, let's call them ladies in their 20s, 
who were really, really poorly dressed. And uh, this man said that, uh, please make her look appropriate for the night. And uh, the whole shop tried to uh, do their best to find some clothes. Usually she said that they tried to cover up more because uh, the way like that girl looked, um, Yes, uh, when people say that such couples with the age gap, they exist. Well, you can see such couples when a man is in his 50s, 60s, and he can afford to just simply buy the whole outfit in Dior for the night because he's going out for dinner. And a girl by his side has to look more appropriate. You can understand why she is with him and why he is with her. Uh, but when gentlemen claim that uh, like uh, 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 such emails when like the first line is like I'm 59 or I'm 67 but I'm not rich but I, I'm only attracted to women in their 20s like uh, middle services top because I want to have kids and she has to be down to earth she has to be not materialistic uh, she has to have a pure heart and she has to fall in love with 62 years old me um I don't know. I, I, uh, still, I can't get used to such emails, even though I have been doing it for like 13 years. Yes. That's Why should she choose you? Mm -hmm. Always try to put yourself in the position of this lady. Why? Because he has a kind heart, usually is the most popular answer. <laughs> to this. Think about yourself when you were 25. Uh, what has to happen to you to make you date a 62 years old woman? Mm-hmm. Well, because uh, this woman uh, will make you like rich and famous like Madonna and all her boyfriends who are like 18 years old uh, models and just the fact that he will go out with, uh, with Madonna, his career will skyrocket and uh, he will become very, very famous and will got contracts with all the popular model agencies. We can understand the logic and of course he has to be grateful to Madonna for such a chance. Because literally, she is Madonna. She can pick tons of boys like that. But I still can't understand logic of some man. Like, I'm 62. She has to be 25. Why? Because she's Ukrainian. Really? And this scenario that you described, it reminds a lot of the movie Pretty Woman. Like, he took the job, but you forget that he was a billionaire and he was young. He was not much older than she was. So, of course, and he has paid her. If you remember what she was doing for a living. He paid, he paid to her also, and in the end, the story became very romantic, but we don't see what, what happened further in their story. But that's Cinderella. That's a love story created for women that you can, uh, you can sell, or let's call it, sell your body to the night, sell your love to the night, and you can still uh, marry a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Katerina, let's return to our dating mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, about mistakes, like I said, that uh, unrealistic expectations, I think it will be always uh, in the top uh, of, uh, of mistakes that uh, men do, uh, that when they are choosing uh, to build international relationship for wrong reasons, when they um, don't think for themselves correctly from the beginning and they don't build their goals in the right way, uh, um, why they are, uh, why they want to build such relationship, uh, then they make such mistake, and of course it's difficult for them to move uh, further. Also, uh, a huge mistake is to expect that international relationship will be so easy, that it will go so fast, so easy, that if you, for example, hire a company or a matchmaker, then in one week they will find you your uh, best half, and uh, you very soon you will meet her, everything will be great, she will move to your house in one month and you will uh, you will be happy already married. already pregnant with your twins and both will be males uh, I can tell that many people have such unrealistic expectations not only regarding the fact that they are hiring a matchmaker but also about relationship in gender in general that uh, once he uh, meets the right person out of a sudden like his whole life or her whole life will change drastically he will get a promotion, war will stop, uh, he or she will lose 20 kilos, uh, magically he will learn Russian, she will 
or learn uh, English or Spanish just because there is the right partner. No, uh, relationship, building a relationship, it is a process and you have to work on it. And uh, love won't magically uh, change everything. If you hate your work, uh, well, uh, when you have a beloved person at home, perhaps uh, it will make it more bearable, but no. You will either have to change your attitude to your work or change that work. So many people, uh, they put so much pressure on love that it has to be magical. It will cure everything. In a way, uh, yes, when you have a beloved partner, when you have a healthy relationship, when you have worked on this healthy relationship, uh, yes, it's an achievement, but it is just one part of who you are of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, some people think that if they are unhappy in their life, they have to meet the right person and this person will make them happy. Uh, but it doesn't work like this. To, be, to build a healthy relationship, harmonious uh, and with yourself, you have to be yeah, um, you have to build your life in such a way uh, how you want it to be and then to invite the right person into your life. If you want to resolve all your problems uh, by meeting another person, then of course it doesn't work like this. And if you hope uh, that it will be so soon that uh, in one, two weeks you will be already in relationship, uh, like some guys uh, sometimes asking us that uh, how fast your couples, they build relationship from uh, the moment uh, when they meet and until they get married so there is no exact number of weeks or number of months is how it is going so all couples are unique and uh, don't uh, like you said correctly don't push on yourself uh, waiting that it will be so fast and there is exact time frame for example two months and uh, after these two months i have to decide to make a proposal or to break up so it doesn't work like that you have to have a healthy uh, attitude to it and to understand that it will take some time to get to know another person better. Don't push on another person too. So everything has to go naturally, like in normal relationship, usual relationship when you are meeting a local girl. And in the same way uh, with international relationship, of course, it requests time to international relationship, uh, international dating. It has exact steps of it so it will not be like that so you're meeting her and uh, in one month you are making a proposal and uh, uh, everything goes like by your some plan that you have built in your imagination so give uh, yourself time uh, don't push on yourself and give another person also uh, some time to get to know you to understand enough time enough time yes enough time uh, to get to know you better uh, to feel comfortable with you and in relationship and then everything will go naturally you will feel that moment when you can move on the next step of your relationship but don't uh, make the exact time frame in your head before even you meet that person how it has to be or how it has to, uh, to be built in the future so it's also a common mistake when uh, guys are thinking that they are making a plan that in one month I will meet her in two months we will go to vacation in three months I will make a proposal so in in six months she will be pregnant with my baby and he's doing all his steps uh, like moving to this plan so he wants this plan to be realized in real life and of course it's a mistake because it's life uh, and you have to be prepared to go different steps uh, to build healthy relationship uh, I was thinking um, that uh, so often uh, men and women, they concentrate too much on how it should be uh, instead of enjoying how it is. And yes. uh, very often they feel not happy or unsatisfied with a relationship with their partner, with love in general, in general uh, because uh, real people and real relationships do not reach their expectations, their level of expectations. It is humanly impossible to reach those expectations because they are totally unrealistic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I was also thinking that men, they often romanticize too much relationship with an age gap. They forget that, okay, uh, even if by chance this 60 years old man uh, meets a lady who is 40, like 20 years younger, and they do not think that, uh, first of all, people will see that there is an age gap. So uh, there will be more attention to your couple. They will see that you're older. 
And there will be moments when people will think that she is your daughter. Uh, men don't think about that. If he is like 60 and she is 40, uh, there will be a shop assistant or there will be someone who will be asking like, is it uh, your father or is it your daughter, is it your niece and how he will feel in that moment. Also, they don't think about the fact that uh, pretty much your circle of friends, it will be your age. Even though some gentlemen claim that all oh, my friends are much younger, your parents, they will probably be in their 80s, uh, your siblings, uh, etc. Uh, your parents probably will be your age and her circle of friends will be her age. And uh, people uh, don't consider that it will be more complicated. The relationship with an age gap, they are always more peculiar this is why they're exceptional and very rare because there will be many, 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 circum uh, many, many, many obstacles. And uh, men are just uh, concentrating on like positives that uh, I will have this hot, much younger body, but your body comparing to her body will be much older. And so many insecurities will start to show up. So, and you will see that there is a difference. Um, men underestimated. Again, uh, below are the videos that I have been um, looking uh, at our videos and answering the questions. There were many comments that I'm 61 or I'm 58, but I look good, I eat healthy, I work out. If you look good for your age, for example, you look much better than an average 58 years old, then of course you can compete for a lady, for example, in her 50s, maybe like someone eight years younger, 10 years younger, who's, who also looks better than uh, average, like 49 years old ladies or 50 years old ladies. This doesn't mean that uh, just because you don't have a belly, uh, you can aim for someone in her 30s. And you know, usually uh, I think that the most uh, popular uh, excuse that the man has in this case, they're saying, I still want children. So uh, that, uh, uh, that um, question that he still wants children uh, has to be a reason for a lady that is much younger. But uh, even if she wants children too, she can choose as a father a much younger guy. So if she wants to have children, it doesn't mean that she wants to have children from the guy who's 30 years older. So this excuse, like usually uh, um, when we discuss with our potential clients... I have devoted also... a video to this uh, topic, actually two videos. I have just filmed them uh, these days. Please go on, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> When you're asking them, when you're discussing with them the potential uh, age group, he's saying, I still want children. So the age group has to be like that. And he's naming the age group that is 30 years younger, for example, 25 or 30 years younger. Why this age group? Because I want children. And what we have to, to discuss with our potential ladies, a potential matches for him that uh, I'm sorry he wants a 30 years younger lady because he wants children and it has to be a reason for her to choose you. Maybe no. she wants, to, but she will choose someone younger too. It's not a reason for her to choose a guy 30 years older. And women can count, man, forget about it. If now he's 65, okay, he looks good for 65, but in five years he will turn 70. And if, for example, she's 40, I'm not right now even talking about 30s, uh, like she is 40, let's say. And in five years, she will be just 45. And he will be 70, like 45 and 70. Even if he looks good for his age, even if he has like money to invest into his looks, he is 70 and she is just 45. Think about yourself when you are 45. And for example, if a gentleman is now in his 70s, the level of energy, like my mother-in-law, she's 73. And I can tell like after two hours of playing with my kid, who is three and a half, she needs time to rest. And she is a very active lady, uh, but like three years old has much more energy than uh, the whole family. So, uh, to have kids, this has to be a very brave woman who either understand that, okay, he is very affluent, very rich, so he can buy lots of help, like nannies, uh, uh, cleaners, etc. 
because if he can't afford that, then she will have to take all the care of the child. Yes. And what, what is usually happening that men, they don't believe that they look their age. It's the problem of... Oh my God, yes. Yes, because ladies, it's, it happens very, very rarely that a lady is thinking that she looks 10 years younger than she is. It happens, but not so often. But with no. gentlemen, it's always every, not even second, I think 80% of men, they think that they look younger than their real age. I don't know why. Why is, <laughs> who's telling uh, them this or why it's happening? I, I have no idea, but it's... it's I want I once had a Skype, I remember it very well, and the gentleman, he claimed uh, in his questionnaire that he was 47. And the first thing that I have written down once we have started this Zoom call, I had written that he looks much older and uh, older than his age. I always write my feelings, my thoughts. And then he starts telling me that I look like I'm in my 30s, like everybody is telling me that I look like I'm in my 30s. And I said that, okay, like he is making a joke. Probably he knows that he looks much older and people tell him about that. But no, he has been like that serious. And then he has asked me like, tell me uh, sincerely, uh, how old do you think I look? I didn't want to tell him that I thought he looks like he's in his late 50s. So I tell like late 40s and he says it. No, I don't look like I'm in my eight, four, late 40s. I look like I'm 31. I just, I was speechless. It reminded me when my kid tells me that, no, I don't want to step out from uh, this dirt. I will play here, but she's three and a half. And now she likes saying no, like this is this age. So men can be totally unrealistic. Or for example, you remember this client because... Uh, we are lucky, like, I would say 95% of our clients, they all are extremely kind, smart, intelligent, and nice people to work with. But there is always, like, once per year, twice per year, a gentleman who feels that the world really spins for him. An mm -hmm. entitled person who claims that Mm, if you have managed to introduce me to ladies who are like 10 years younger and who want to go out with me, now you have to introduce me to someone who's 20 years younger, like your manager. Um, and you tell him, but we have a contract and we've told you from the very beginning, like 10 years younger, it's a big age gap and it will be tricky to find such ladies. And we did lots of work. We have invested lots of hours into interviewing many ladies to actually find those who would be open to this age gap no, I want 20 years younger because you know what? I don't look my age. Mm -hmm. And I'm just such a nice person and everybody loves me. Like all people want to date me. Like that shop assistant wanted to date me. Your manager wanted to date me. Even your driver wants to date me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whew. It's, it, it, it can be exhausting. Yes, and I think... Mm -hmm. Uh, I was thinking that women sometimes are also unreasonable, but like you have mentioned, usually women are smarter about it. Like I had this interviewer and the lady, she's an attractive woman, she's 38, and she said that, yes, I'm often reached uh, on Tinder, but like she said, kids in their 20s, but I know that they want casual and uh, they want to have fun. And I, um, I don't want to have just fun. I want to meet someone. Uh, with whom I can build a relationship that will lead to marriage. So she understands the difference. Men confuse the difference very often. And even if a lady, sometimes it also happens that uh, our female clients, they want to date a younger gentleman. Of course, it's not so often, but it happens that a lady, she wants to date someone younger, but uh, she will never say that I look much, much younger, that I, uh, because of that, I want to date someone younger. Sometimes, sometimes they do, Katerina. Sometimes they do. It's because okay, Alicia and me, we uh, talk to ladies more often than you because you take uh, more often to gentlemen. But in comparison to a number of men who believe that they look much younger, this percentage of women, it's, it's small. And usually when you meet such a lady, she is like such a big exception. And this case is so memorable because, uh, well, out for, for example, 50 ladies, uh, this one claimed that she looks 15 years younger just because she did a boob job or uh, she uh, gets some hair extensions. And now she's seeing that she looks way younger than other women.
Yes, it's a more male problem. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, male ego is just so, so fragile. Let's listen to dating mistakes. So uh, there's a desire to date someone way younger, unrealistic expectations about dating, about uh, uh, time frames when you can build a relationship. Uh, desire to mix charity with dating. What else? Uh, I would say that sometimes uh, guys, uh, when they choose uh, to date someone internationally, they forget the fact that we have also cultural differences. Uh, and when you're choosing a person uh, from other culture, for example, to date a Slavic lady, you have to remember that there will be some differences between cultures uh, that you have to be ready for them and uh, uh, not to make them uh, uh, prob problems uh, in your future relationship. For example, very often uh, guys uh, uh, contacting us, uh, they want to meet very traditional lady, uh, family oriented lady. And when um, uh, we start to discuss with them in this sometimes when we start to introduce them already to ladies we understand that he wants a lady that will come to to for example to the us she will work she will have a full career uh, at the same time she will look uh, after their house so she will have all the roles have three babies Yes, uh, and she has we, uh, she has to be ready to have children uh, during the next year. At the same time, she has to come and start to build a career. Uh, she has to work for family budget and many, many, many uh, other things. Uh, so um, uh, they mix, uh, they put all their desires into one box. Uh, they forget that uh, if you want to meet a traditional lady, then you have to understand, first of all, what does it mean in another culture? So uh, what is traditional lady, for example, in Ukrainian culture? If you're coming here to, to Ukraine or if, like, for example, now we introduce uh, our clients to Ukrainian ladies that are in Western Europe now, but still they're Ukrainian ladies and still they will have our values, our family values, uh, our um, tra they will keep our traditions. So they will not change. If she is living, for example, in Poland for two or three months, it, it will not change her mentality. So she Even if she lives here for several years because i have been meeting several uh, several i have been meeting many ladies who live in germany or in poland for years uh, for mm -hmm. example their parents have relocated or they have relocated to study and uh, they have stayed here Yes, so she will be still Ukrainian ladies, she will have Ukrainian mentality, she will have Ukrainian understanding of family. Uh, so if you want to meet a traditional lady, you have to be uh, realistic with yourself. What do you put into this meaning? And you have to be sure that in another culture it means the same. It's very important to understand because uh, when you want from a lady that she will come to U.S. and from the first week she will start to work, she will work on your family budget, uh, she will uh, build her career, everything. Uh, Katerina, even if you are in one country, like many ladies and men, they have such totally unrealistic expectations about their partner, like, oh, she has to have three kids and take care of the kids and no nannies because I don't want a nanny to raise my children. But at the same time, she has to work full time. I, as a person who has a toddler, I can tell you just one toddler, uh, having a career and having a kid, either you get help or you, uh, you have to put your career on pause. You, you can't do both. Uh, you, you have to do, do some sacrifices because there are like only 24 hours in a day. And um, I have met a lady here, not for our base. She has six kids and she is actually Russian. And uh, she says that she, she doesn't have time to cook and to clean. So they have hired help because she has six kids and all the kids, she has to take them to school. And then they have like art classes and they have music classes. Then she has the babies. So she takes care of the kids. She doesn't work. She can't uh, also clean a house and cook a three meal course. It's humanly impossible. If your husband understand it, understands it. Uh, so uh, sometimes ladies, they give such unrealistic uh, request that he has to own a business, but he has to uh, be flexible because I want him to travel with me and I want him to be a good father who will take care of the kid because he will take care of the kid 50-50. And I want him to be this, that I want him to 
uh, split like uh, the house tours with me. Uh, no, it, it doesn't work like that. Yes, so it's again, we are coming to unrealistic expectations and it is mixed with the cultural difference uh, too. Uh, because uh, all uh, um, countries, all cultures, they have their uh, own features. And when you are going to meet... Even, a lady, even in the same country, Katerina, even in the same country, if you want to meet a lady who will cook, clean, uh, earn uh, good money and raise three kids, uh, why should she? Why does she need you in her life then, if she can accomplish all this? This super woman, wonder woman, what for? Yes, and uh, of course, uh, when you decide to build any relationship, uh, local, international, you have to understand that. And if uh, you're building international relationship, then uh, you will add to this that also uh, you have to understand the culture of a country uh, where you are planning to meet your lady or uh, which country she is from. Yes, uh, and the idea that she will relocate to you on the one hand, it is a sacrifice because she will have to leave behind everything she knows and loves. On the other hand, she is doing it uh, not uh, because she is so selfless, but because she wants to be with her beloved man and she wants to build uh, a family life, a relationship. So, uh, of course, it's her decision. You can't push someone to just relocate. Uh, but you have to keep in mind the differences in culture. And I was thinking about, the, about other mistakes, thinking that she will change. So I will choose her just because I like her, for example, age, looks, uh, background, but then she has to change everything to uh, fit uh, inside my mold uh, and uh, she has to give up like her career aspirations or hobbies because I want to have six babies. And for example, she doesn't want six children uh, at the very beginning. Yes. and. Uh, uh... If you're talking about cultural differences, then also it's connected with behavior, uh, for example, in financial questions. Like, he, he, as you know, in our culture, a man is a real gentleman. And if he is inviting a lady on a date, it means that he will uh, cover the bill, that he will come with flowers. And we have some uh, exact um, uh, cultural features connected with dating. And if you're going to meet a lady uh, from our culture, it's important to... Uh, get to know them too so for example if you hire a matchmaker or a company that will work with you and will help you uh, with coaching and uh, will help you to be a lady then you will know all this uh, small but very important details uh, about dating you will be prepared but anyway if you're doing it yourself and uh, you have to be ready uh, that there will be some differences you have to get to know them and to be prepared because it's very important if you are on a date with a slavic lady it's not a european lady it's not an american lady and if in the end of the date uh, uh, the waiter is bringing you the bill and you're waiting uh, while uh, when she is she will open it too uh, it will be your last date with the ukrainian lady because uh, our in our culture, it's not popular it, it, and it's not common and uh, um, it's strange to split the bill on a date. If uh, it is a date, if you're inviting a lady, even sometimes, in, not even sometimes, often on a working meeting, uh, uh, here a gentleman will uh, cover the bill for, for his meal and her, uh, what she had. Uh, but uh, if Society it is, is patriarchal. But if it is a date, and uh, then it's impossible for our culture uh, that a lady will uh, will try will touch money and will try to pay for herself. So it's impossible. Not because she, not because she can't afford it, because it's part of the culture. Like if a woman tries to uh, foot the bill, she wants to offend a man. She wants to show him that uh, she didn't like him. Mm -hmm. So in this case, yes, I was talking to a lady, uh, she, I wanted her for our database, but she has met a gentleman from Denmark and uh, they're building a relationship. And she said that uh, she didn't like two things about him. He didn't leave tips on their date and he didn't uh, bring her flowers, neither for the first nor for the second or third date. And I've told her, and the rest just said that he is, uh, she really liked his sense of humor. He's kind, sweet, good looking, tall. And uh, she had fantastic dates. And I've told her that pay attention. In Europe, people very, very occasionally in Western Europe, 
leaf tips. It's not United States and uh, uh, and in Ukraine it's also different. So like people leave like a few cents, like literally two euros, I believe nothing here. So it's just a difference in culture. And she said that, you know what, Svetlana, you have it uh, right. I have paid attention that uh, people do not leave tips. And uh, regarding flowers, I have advised her to actually uh, tell him that in our culture, it is traditional to bring flowers. And it would make me extremely happy if for our date number five, he will present me my favorite flowers and she likes tulips. So uh, cultures are different. You can't expect the other party to know all the peculiarities of your culture. Yes, that's why it's important to learn about the culture uh, where you want to meet a lady. And uh, of course, uh, it will not like, for example, with this uh, couple that you gave an example, of course, it doesn't mean that she will uh, break up with him because he didn't bring flowers. No. The, but it will give him very good bonuses in the beginning if he did it uh, on the first she, day. She felt confused and she, has, uh, she was seeking for uh, some information why he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, because like in our culture, if a man is not leaving tips or he's not bringing flowers, there is a strong chance that he is cheap. Nobody wants to date someone cheap because you know what, uh, like we understand that, uh, okay, and once we have kids, what will happen? Like will he be uh, cheap regarding kids, his family as well? Nobody wants to date a person like that. Or maybe he is just rude and he thinks that he is... Uh, uh, too good, like too good looking, too uh, hot to bother with like buying flowers and actually being nice to other people. And again, nobody wants to um, date someone who is so not over himself and is already in love with himself. Um, I believe we have uh, time for one more tip and one more dating mistake that will lead us to the tip. Uh, what do you have in mind? Um, about uh, mistake, you know, I think that uh, I have mentioned, uh, I think the most popular that we face last uh, weeks, last month is so something that uh, is uh, so important and we didn't speak. Maybe you remember something and we will just. I, would, uh, I can name a very popular mistake that men and women make. Uh, the mistake is waiting for the perfect opportunity, perfect moment, perfect opportunity. You know, uh, some men, they have reached out, uh, route, reached out two hours before COVID and then they said that, you know what, uh, I want to finish this project, then it is winter, it is cold, uh, and I want to wait uh, till winter is over, then COVID hit it and uh, people were waiting until COVID will be over. Now, the, uh, after like COVID was slowing down, they were waiting until political tension will be over. Now they are waiting until war will be over. You can spend 10 years waiting for a perfect moment that will never come. Something will always show up. Some uh, political changes. Uh, are unfortunately, uh, our parents also, they get older, uh, our relatives. Uh, so, perfect moment can never actually appear and once you will wake up and you're this 65 years old claiming that you look so much younger and you want to have children but there won't be any ladies who would be willing to have the children with you because you are 65. 65 is not too late to find love and uh, we have introduced couples gentlemen were in their 70s they got married and these are nice couples no they didn't have children together um, but they are traveling, they are going out, they are enjoying beautiful places, uh, they are learning how to cook Spanish cuisine. So there is time and place for everything. And uh, men who are in their late 40s, early 50s who want to have kids and who think that, okay, I will do it in five years, 10 years. No, the right moment is now. Because like in five years, once you are 55 or 57, it will be extremely complicated to introduce you to someone who will be willing to have those babies with you. Unless, of course, you are like Hollywood rich and famous, then other rules apply to you. Yes, that's true. And uh, in, in this uh, case, 
I want to say that uh, I will turn, I would turn this mistake into uh, the tip that be a creator of your happiness. Don't wait for uh, the right moment uh, when you finish the project. Uh, when, I don't know, something else is happening, when the COVID will be absolutely finished and many, many other obstacles that prevent you from being happy uh, today or tomorrow. So be a creator of uh, your life and uh, do something today because if you want to get something that you don't have now, you have to do something that you didn't do before. It's very important. Uh, so, of course, waiting for something, uh, it gives you, like, you know, um, you can um, lie to yourself that, for example, I have already uh, made the decision, I will start to look for my better half, so I'm already on the way to this, and you lie to yourself because you do nothing at the moment, just decision to find your better half, you're not even on the halfway to this. So you have to act, not only thinking about something, but you have to act, you have to do the exact steps on the way uh, to, to the place where you want to be in the future. So yes, it's very important uh, to do something uh, today, not to wait uh, when the right moment comes. I was thinking as about another example, or I will share it pretty quickly. Like we all have uh, these friends uh, in Ukraine who are learning English for seven or 10 years in a sense that this person tells you that, oh, I will start taking classes next year. I will start taking classes uh, after I finish this. I will start uh, taking classes uh, after summer or during summer, after COVID, after the war, I will start doing that. Instead of learning that language, investing like several years and already being fluent, like for 10 years, they are pushing this task. And in Germany, I have met uh, several ladies who are like, they already have learned a lot within these three, four months that they are spending here. Or for example, in Poland, they are learning the language. And I have met some who tells me that, oh, I will start learning the language in September. But maybe in September, we will already return back home. I Hopefully. hope so. Yes. So why not to do it? What are you busy with now? Oh, I just don't know. Um, I will start in September because like September is a good month to start it. So some people are they just find excuses so this is why they don't get the results they claim they want and sometimes yeah. they just really don't want to do it so this is why they give you excuses because deep down you can't lie to yourself you understand that you don't want it yes and of course uh, sometimes people are very, are very lazy to me to change their life because if you want to change something you have to put a lot of efforts into it uh, but um, if you find if you try to find excuses then maybe you are lazy even to change your life so who will do it instead of you i think no one i have told you about this fantastic superwoman who speaks uh, actually four languages and has six kids Four languages and six kids, and all her kids, uh, except from the babies who still can talk, uh, they can also speak uh, four languages. So yes, it's the number, of, the matter of priorities. She's a housewife. She doesn't cook. She doesn't clean. She takes care of six kids, so she cleans plenty after the kids, uh, and she speaks four languages. No, she doesn't have a job because you have just twenty-four hours per day. You have to also sleep and eat sometimes. And so if you want to meet someone, the time is now. Yes, that's true. Katerina, let's finish this video, it, uh, this message. I was so happy to see you. I can't wait to hug you. I guess once we all return to the office, we will hug for a few, uh, for at least two weeks. Mm -hmm. that's, that's true. I hope that everything will come back to normal very soon. And uh, uh, all people will come back home and we will live our life that will be even more happier than uh, it was before this war, that's for sure. I wish everyone who is watching this video lots of love. Hug Harika for me and we will see you in the next video. Okay. From Jolly with love. <laughs> I'm making a heart as well. Bye. Thank you for watching this one.